We're going to have a look at how to open a file through Windows Explorer. The first thing we have to do is actually open Windows Explorer and there's a couple of ways to do this. Often there's an icon that looks like this one on your taskbar and you could come to this icon if you hover over the top it'll actually tell you it's Windows Explorer. If I click once with the left mouse button that would open Windows Explorer. I won't do that right now. Um, the other way of opening Windows Explorer is to come to the Start Menu button and right click. If you right click on the Start Menu button then you'll be offered the ability to open Windows Explorer from this location as well. I'll do that. So this is Windows Explorer. It opens up and shows us um, areas in our computer that we could store things. It's also showing us our drives that may be connected to the computer like our USB drives or an external hard drive. Um, also to get to Windows Explorer you could uh, come to the start menu and then just click on to computer. That will show you what's in your computer but also allows you to navigate around um, in Windows Explorer. So it gives you a slightly different view. This is showing our hard drives and the devices with removable storage when I click um, from the start menu and then click onto the computer here. If I actually did click on to uh, right click sorry onto the start button and then click on open Windows Explorer it gives us a slightly different view. It shows our libraries which is also lifted over here um, but really there's not very much difference so any of those methods will get you into Windows Explorer. Once you're in Windows Explorer then you may have to do a little bit just to make the view look a bit m more appropriate to what you need. So if we have a look on the left hand side this is uh, all the different storage locations in your computer or like I said storage locations this one's attached to the computer it's a USB stick um, and this one's a, an actual external hard drive. Now as I hover over them you can see that you can see the whole name and you can also see the drive letter that's been allocated in this case this is P at the end and this one's an L drive this is my E drive this is my D drive and this is my C drive if these guys aren't visible then you might have to click on the little triangle next to computer to open up that menu so that you can actually vi visually see it. Uh, to make this a little bit easier to to see and not worry about having to hover over things to see their drive letters you can always expand the menu area so you could just click and drag to to open that up and then you can see which drives um, which Okay, now we need to understand how to navigate to our folders and files through Windows Explorer. Um, these are our drives and they're also different storage locations within the computer. Uh, within here you'll find that if you uh, click on one it'll open up what's inside that drive or what's inside a folder. In this case it's my external um, USB drive and in here I have got one folder which has a, a different look than the files underneath that are listed. The files all have a file extension, a three or four um, letter file extension which is preceded by a, a dot. So the dot AVI tells the computer what type of a file this actually is. AVI is being a movie file, it actually says over here video clip. I can see what type of files these are because my view has been changed to details. If I just had the list view then I wouldn't be able to see as much detail about this but I, I can still see the extension and if I know a little bit about computing then I would know what they were. Okay, an exe file is actually a program so it's something that's going to run and do something to the computer. This one I can't see so we'll just open it up. Okay, so it's got a, D, a dot .docx which is a Word document, it's a 2010 Office um, document and you can see it's Word as well because it's got the Word icon. So the computer knows from the file extension that this is a Word 2010 version document um, and if I click on it it will know to open up Word 2010 and, um, and try and put this document inside it. A JPEG is actually a graphics file, um, a PNG is also a graphics file. This guy here, let's open him up it's another AVI so it's uh, another video file that I've created JPEG again so we've got another image file if 
I click on a file, um, just a single click on the file, I can actually look at a preview before I open an application and the whole file. So I've basically just clicked on my JPEG, which is an image file, and an image has come into the preview pane. Now the preview pane is something that can be activated or turned off. To turn it on and off is this button up here. It says hide the preview pane. Now that same button will say show the preview pane. So you can hide and show the preview pane in Windows Explorer. You can move this backwards and forwards to get a bigger image or a smaller image. Okay, so you, there's lots of things that we can do. We can preview other types of files. There's many files we can preview. Let's go into the TAFE folder and um, maybe the operator computer folder. And let's have a look at my file extensions doc in preview. So I've just single clicked on it and a preview of what the file is going to ha have in it is come on to the right hand side in the preview pane. Now if I actually want to open a, f a file, I just double click on it. So within here, I can just double click and it will open the Word document inside of Word. So it's Open Word 2010 and it has opened the document as well. Okay, so to close it again, up on the X. So don't forget that the way the computer knows what program to open a file in, it even knows what icon to give um, a file in this list is all associated with your file extension. A computer file has to have a, an extension that the computer actually recognises, otherwise it won't know what to do with the file. Sometimes you will get a file that has had the, the name changed and it's not appropriate anymore, or is an extension associated with a program that is not installed on the computer and if you try and double click on it the computer will tell you that it doesn't understand what to do with that file.